A West too exclusive, a woman who says she too is a victim of a local serial rapist wants her day in court. She says Tommy Lee Andrews should face more charges. She shared her story only with West 2's Greg Fox. Because he just flipped me back and then he just came at me with the knife. Kimberly Noble doesn't want us to reveal her face. She recalls how she was attacked 35 years ago. That's her on the right in this photo with her mother. She had just left the front door of her house on Lawsona Boulevard in Orlando, November 15th, 1986, when a man lunged at her and stuck a knife to her throat. You know, I was scared to death. And like I said, when I saw the knife coming at my throat, the first instinct was to grab it. Did you think you would get out of there alive? Um, I wasn't sure. At the time, no. Cut, bleeding, but alive. She managed to get away. She says Orlando police put a photo of Tommy Lee Andrews in a lineup, and she immediately identified him. Andrews was suspected in two dozen rapes in the mid-80s. He was arrested four months after Kimberly's assault and charged in another woman's attempted murder and sexual battery. Andrews was charged, or about to be charged, in at least six cases, prompting the prosecutor to send some victims this letter. He warned them, do not attend the first trials because their attendance could taint future prosecutions. And he wanted to assure them Andrews would get maximum prison time. If the controls are right. But after he was found guilty in the first U.S. case in which DNA, his genetic code, was the main evidence, he was convicted in a second case and Kimberly and other victims were told their cases were being dropped because Andrews would never get out of prison. Except now he's petitioning for release and will face a bench trial in three weeks. A judge could order his freedom. I, I'm just, I'm concerned. I'm concerned that he'll come back after me. Kimberly and others who learned last week that the Malibu rapist, George Gertman, is being charged in 15 cold case attacks, wonder why Andrews is not being charged in their cases. It just, it stinks. It's not, it's not right how they're able to do that, but they can't do that in this case is just crazy. Whether or not the renewed law enforcement investigations prompt the state attorney's office to seek a delay in next month's trial is so far unknown. In Orange County, Greg Fox, West 2 News.